Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Today, let's talk on refrigerators. Maybe wondering, Todd, it's actually kind of cool outside. Why are we talking about refrigerators? Exactly my point. If you're still RVing out there, one of the two million of you still full-time RVing out there, yep, two million of you, you know, we still have to have our refrigerator regardless of how cold it is outside. And if you've got that RV style refrigerator, there's a couple things we need to understand when it's cold outside. The first thing is, is that, you know, we have to produce heat in order to create cold. This is why we have a burner assembly back there, whether it be on propane or whether it be on electricity. And if you actually installed one of those fans during the summer that I actually tell you not to, but you go ahead and put a fan on during the summer to get that air blowing, guess what's going on right now? If that fan is on, you're not be able to, your, your burner assembly behind there is not able to produce enough heat to actually create the heat transfer that we need. So go outside, turn off those fans. If they're not set up with some type of thermostat, turn them off and let, let the burner assembly do its job during the winter. Now, number two is, is if it's actually too cold inside your refrigerator or not cold enough, understand that at the back of your refrigerator, up at the top of your evaporator fins, you've got what's called a thermistor. What does it look like? Well, it's a simple piece of wire that has a clip on it. That clip is actually clipped on to one of those fins. Simply move it up if you want your refrigerator to be cooler, move it down if you want it to be warmer. Now, you can only move those if you have a manual thermostat. Now, if you have, you know, the dials on your belly board or your eyebrow board up top, you just one to nine, either way, that's all you have to do. You don't have to move that thermistor. So understand this is gonna be more for those that actually have the manual thermistor. Move it up if you want it cooler inside your refrigerator, move it down if it's too cold. Now, again, we've already addressed, if you've got ice going on back there, refrigerators are a sealed system. So if you have ice back there, you wanna check that drip tube in the back and you wanna check your seals, make sure you don't have air coming to your refrigerator. And that's it, try and keep it warm back there during the cool and try and keep everything closed off up front and you'll have your refrigerator do wonders for you. If you wanna be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info Fill out the form and start your business today. You move it up. If you want it cooler inside your uh, air, nah. what else were we gonna say? I'll talk about the fans that are behind the thermistor that people put in. Not behind the thermistor. <sighs> we rolling? All right now. You want it cooler? <laughs> now, last thing I would actually talk about, well actually no, this is actually something else, so we'll talk about that next time.